Dean Leggy, Matt DeBerry here, Dog Post Recruiting Wrap Up. We got a very busy background here. Uh, not like the Auburn week, but every week matters. Every week definitely matters. Uh, the visitor list was definitely smaller compared to last week, but there were still some guys here. Uh, four star cornerback commitment, DJ Daniel, who flipped from South Carolina to Georgia recently. He was here. Uh, 2020 offensive lineman Paul Tio, who we saw at Milton. Oh, yeah. He told me he was going to be here. I did not see him. He's a big dude. He's kind of hard to miss, but I did not see him out there. They won last night. Milton's got a really good team, so he made it here. Alabama, Clemson, Georgia, probably that top three. I think Alabama and Clemson are kind of the lead there. So a little surprising for him to tell me that he was going to be here, but um, could be beneficial down the road. Uh, a lot of younger guys, 2021 athlete Jaden Thomas had a Pace Academy. He's a guy to keep an eye on. Big time wide receiver defensive back. He was here. Uh, Nick Penley, a 2019 guard at a Creekview High School, was here. Probably not going to get an offer from Georgia, but he was, uh, you know, he's a good player. He's got a, some big offers Southern Cal, Virginia, North Carolina, stuff like that. So a small group, but still a few guys here that could definitely help the team out down the road, if possible. Yeah, yeah I mean, that's more than you would maybe think off the top of your head for Massachusetts, but in this this case yeah. it was a decent group it really decent group um, again th these four o'clock games are really fun for these these recruits too they get to spend time uh, with the, the staff before the game after the game it was really nice out here so uh, yeah another another uh, big recruiting weekend not so big again compared to last week but still some solid guys here but next week, you you conclude your season. You play. You're playing Georgia Tech. It should be. I mean, it's a it's a it's an it's a early game. Always tough for the kids to come out. No one yeah. wants to come to a noon game. But again, for a lot of these in-state kids, this is a big game. You know, if you grow up in the state of Georgia, no matter how good Georgia is, no how bad Tech is, this is a big game across the state that these kids grow up watching. So we'll see uh, what the turnout's going to be like next week. Should be a good amount of kids here. We'll see. Uh, and again, make well, sure you're on dog post, and we'll have a list for you. I'll say this. The reality is you're going up against Auburn, Alabama. Yep. You're also going up against uh, LSU, A&M. Yeah, Clemson, South Carolina. Uh, that's a home game for Clemson, right? Yes. A lot of kids are going to be wanting to go to that game. Um, yeah, it, even though it's a noon game, I'm still expecting a solid turn on next week. Probably not like it was last week. Uh, again, that was huge, but uh, still some good kids will be here next week. Okay, we are zoning into five weeks until yeah. signing day. Yeah, five, six weeks. Um, there are, there are we're, we're 18. 18 we're, commitments right yeah, now. We're, we're looking at maybe six kids-ish. Six or seven. I mean, I didn't think they'd sign 26 last year, so uh, and, and they did. So you never know. I'm, I'm saying 24 to 26. Just a lot of variables could go and happen there. Um, but, yeah, about five weeks left and uh, six, possibly seven spots available. And it does seem like Georgia has – they know the guys that they want, and now they just have to close with them. And yeah, we'll wrap with this. The other thing is, too, you know, with the way that they've recruited, and we see you're, if you're watching this, you see some of the players walk behind us. Yeah. They have effectively recruited to the degree that they – they don't have massive need at any one spot, right? They can go and pinpoint precision, uh, go get, try and go get guys. I mean, there's a kid that just walked by from, from New York City, from Brooklyn. Just now. Yeah, Georgia's going all over the place uh, to get players. Uh, they needed a running back, definitely. They went and got one out of Florida, Kenny McIntosh. That was a big deal. They needed a running back to jump on board there. But you know, as we've seen in 2019, they're going across the country. If you're from the state of Georgia and want to play for these Georgia Bulldogs, you've got to be one of the best in state. In the well, yeah. In the country. Right, right, right. you got to be one of the best players, not only in the state of Georgia, but in the country as well. So they're going all over the place. All right. Stay tuned next week. We'll have the wrap-up for Tech in Georgia. Matt DeBerry, Dean Leggy signing off from Samford Stadium.